Okay, so I don't know if you've heard of the 100 hour brownies, but apparently the brownie recipe that takes 100 hours to make and it is the best brownies you will ever have in your entire life. So I want to see if they're worth the hype and I'm going to try to make them. So the very first step is you got to brown butter and you got to put it into an ice bath with espresso powder and you got to mix it. Now to make the brownie part, you got to crack some eggs and some sugar into a bowl and then you got to whip it with like a mixer whipper thingy and I'm using premium vanilla paste imported from Madagascar because these are fancy. We got to use the fancy ingredients. Okay, so I've been mixing this for like 10 minutes. My arms are burning, but now I got a sift in the cocoa powder, a bit of salt, and I'm really surprised there's no baking soda or baking powder in this recipe. But now I gotta add in the brown butter espresso mixture, and then you are supposed to add in the melted chocolate. And I honestly almost forgot to add the flour, but I put in the flour, and now I'm chopping up some milk chocolate, some semi sweet chocolate, and some dark chocolate. And the batter is so good, I would eat this with a spoon. I don't care about salmonella, it's so good now. I am so excited to see how it comes out in what I don't know, four days. But now I just put this into the dish, I give my little sister the spoon, and I'm so excited. This has to go in the fridge for 72 hours, so come back to see 